Hello, hello. I apologize for yesterday about the lack of audio quality. I had the settings wrong. I was not recording on this microphone. I was recording on my laptop microphone, which explains the poor audio quality. But as you can hear, the audio quality is much crisper now. Joe from Jotography Official. I take photos for guys who want to get more and better matches on dating apps. In this video, I talk about another common concern that I get when people want better photos so they can get better matches on Tinder, but are worried about something. Um, and that something in particular is they're worried that it makes them desperate. I get this um, from some guys. I get this mostly from women who I, when they ask what I do, I say I take dating app profile photos. And some of some more some women um, say, "Oh, people are desperate enough for that. Guys are desperate enough for that." And it really irks me. Um, and I'm going to break it down. I understand where it comes from. I understand why people and um, women and some guys think that working on your dating profile means that you're desperate. Um, and it comes from a myth. Uh, well, some, some myth, an, an, an understanding, a misunderstanding of, um, of dating, a, a deeper misunderstanding. And um, so I'm excited to unpack that. I'm excited to help you guys see how you can get everything you want um, in your dating life and work towards it and really put effort and energy and resources towards it. And that doesn't make you desperate. In fact, that makes you a great an amazing human being who wants to improve his life. Um, firstly, I want to share this flag behind me just because it's a passion of mine. As you can see, it has two flags. And as you can see, it doesn't just say California Republic, it says New California Republic. And that is an ode to my favorite video game series, uh, Fallout, the Fallout universe. Fucking love it. I have Fallout memorabilia around my house. Those of you who know my other channel, Passion Unchained, about building a life based on your passions, hence my photography business, hint, hint, um, you know that that has been in the background of my last 50 or so videos. I, I don't know. I haven't counted plus or minus 20. <laughs> my last 30 to 70 videos, somewhere around there. That's been in the background of almost all of them. Um, I've changed up the angle a little bit here, and then I also keep my, uh, I put my light visibly in the background because, hey, this is my photography channel. Why hide my photography equipment? That would be very stupid and silly. Um, so without further ado, let me dive into the question, which is, does dating, does paying money for a great dating app profile make you desperate? The answer is obviously no. I mean, of course, yes, I'm selling photo shoots, so... I would never say yes to that, but the answer is objectively no. And let me explain that to you. Um, the reason it is, okay, let me, let me hold on, hold, put, that, put a pin in that. Let's go to another situation. Imagine that you are wanting to get into Harvard, right? You are a high school junior, no, sophomore. You want to get into Harvard. Your grades are in a certain place, so you have like maybe a 3.0 GPA, but you know that to get into Harvard, you pretty much need a 4.0. You probably need to take a bunch of AP classes, you need to do a ton of extracurriculars, be active in the community, and you need to get a fucking solid 4.0 average minimum because sometimes if you weight it and you get an A in an honors class or an AP class, that can count as a 5.0, I think. I might be wrong about that. I didn't do well in high school. I did really well in my associates, I did horribly in high school. I got a 2.12 GPA, I think. I like barely didn't flunk. <laughs> I was an obedient, uh, a disobedient fuck. I was a very rebellious teenager, if you can't tell. But when it comes to this situation, imagine you're this sophomore and you need, you have a 3.0, you need a 4.0. So your parents are also on your side. Of course, they want to get you into Harvard and they have the resources to do it. So you get a tutor. Right? So you study your ass off so that you can get better results, right? Nothing wrong with that. Okay, cool. Now, imagine another scenario. You are 
into fitness and you are so into fitness that you are in a team you are in a, um, a semi-pro soccer team now you and your team have done pretty damn well but you know that to win the championship you need to up your game so what do you do you get a trainer you also hire a nutritionist and you hire a life coach to get your habits on point when it comes to sleep etc. You hire all these things because you want to pull out all the fucking stops. Why the hell not? Why wouldn't you pull out all these stops? Because you want to get the championship. You're already in the semi-pro. Why the fuck would you not go a little bit further and make sure that you do fucking well so that you might even get in the MLS into the Austin team. Woot woot. Repping Austin. Yes, yes. Austin Football Club. Let's go. Let's get it. Um... Yeah, why the fuck wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you hire, pay money, put resources, time, and effort into yourself to get what you're going for? Now, obviously, a lot of you guys are into fitness, and a lot of you guys are into academic excellence, but a lot of you aren't. You might be into one of those things or none of those things. These are just examples that I think even if we're not semi-pro soccer players, I don't know how many of my listeners are semi-pro soccer players, Um, probably not too many, if I'm going to be honest, but... Just because, like, it's, I mean, I'm sure there are some because there is an overlap between people. Well, I mean, every guy wants more and better matches on dating apps, but it's just kind of such a random thing. I just kind of pulled out of my ass. So maybe a couple of them. If you are, shout out in the comments. I'd actually be really interested to hear. But I'm sure, like, 99.9% of you are not semi pro uh, soccer players. Um, and I'm pretty sure only a few of you will be in high school. Um, dating apps are for everyone course uh i speak to the over 18 crowd but you can be in high school and over 18 if you're a senior so this also might apply to you if you are over 18 and in high school but when it comes to this i'm sure you're following where i'm going when people the diff i don't know what the difference is but when you're like i want to get a good dating life a good sex life whether it's a long-term relationship again whether it's a long-term relationship or a series of one-night stands, or somewhere in the middle. As long as you're being ethical about it, it's all okay. There's no morals when it comes to what you're looking for in dating, how long-term or short-term you want. It's all okay. Whatever you want, as long as you are honest with the girls you have it with and it's consensual, then it doesn't really... For some reason, if you put energy and effort and money and resources into getting a better sex life and dating life, then people call you desperate. Now, why is that? I did a few minutes of thinking, really a few seconds, because I'd already done a few. I mean, I've been thinking about this for a while, but um, I did. I I congealed my thoughts, consolidated. That's a better word. I consolidated my thoughts right before I started this vlog. And there's a common thread here, right? When it comes to um, most achievements in life, whether it's career or fitness or um, academic. These things we understand, we start in a certain place and we can improve ourselves, right? There's the whole idea that change, you can change, what is it called? Um, Change-mindedness? I don't remember the term for it. But um, you're not locked in a position and you can improve where you're at. And that your results are based off of what you can offer, right? Like if it's for fitness, what you, or like say the soccer analogy, if what you can offer is a great presence on the field where say you're a forward, you're aggressive, you're really good at dribbling the ball around the defensive players, you're really accurate at shooting, you rely on your teammates just enough so that you can pass it when needed, but you're also self-sufficient, so if they pass it to you, you can decide what to do with it for the best of the team, right? You're just an effective strategist, you're also super fast, um, and you're just an all, and you're, you have a lot of endurance, you can keep running and running and running back and forth without getting tired. Uh, if that's what you can offer to the team, then your team will grow and you will be great in the team and then you will also have an asset to your team and your team will get further, of course, if everybody works on themselves in the same way. Um, In academia, if you study well, if you have a good understanding, if you have good natural intellect but also work on it and continue to work on it and are diligent about your, 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 your your time management so you can get the assignments done on time, you will be rewarded with a good grade, good GPA, and you'll be rewarded with potentially research opportunities when you go to college and get and get um, get uh, close to professors, etc. Right. So, why is dating any different? 
for some reason there's this assumption that when we're dating, it's like, okay, this is who I am, this is who you are, if I am getting X results, then that's what I deserve, right? Why? Why are we not able to change that, right? Now, what you offer in dating is a lot of different things, and some of these things are more important to short-term relationships, and some of these are more important to long-term relationships. Honesty is important overall, but it's, most, it's even more important for long-term relationships. There are some people who would hook up with somebody who's dishonest, but would not have a long-term relationship with them. There, um, there are some people, some, when it comes to physical looks, physical looks are important, again, overall, but at the same time, that's more important for short-term relationships than long-term relationships. There are a lot of people I know that got with people that weren't, they weren't initially physically attracted to, but they were attracted to the personality over the long-term. Now, that's not a strategy for you to go to because um, there's a lot of reasons why looks are important if you want to be in control of your dating life and, and regardless of what you're looking for. You, if you are not looking, if you're not going into your looks, if you're not focusing on your looks and you will be out of control of your dating life, you might stumble upon some opportunities accidentally as people get to know you, but it will be completely out of your control. The, the point I'm saying here is there are various things that you have to offer. You have looks to offer, you have how fun you are to be around to offer, you have how honest you are, how much people can trust you to offer, you have how, so, how, fun, how social you are, how socially connected, like do you have fun social opportunities you can take your significant other or friend with benefits to um, that she can enjoy with you. Um, there are a lot of things you have to offer. Do you have like, do you like to cook? Do you like to explore new things? Do you like to travel? These are all things that you have to offer to your potential uh, dates, long-term relationships, girlfriends, friends with benefits, hookups, etc. You have this to offer. How is that any different than you, you, you hiring a personal trainer? How is getting better photos any different than you hiring a personal trainer? How is, how is increasing your social life better than hiring a personal trainer? Right now, I'm not offering dating coaching. Uh, I might at some point. I don't know. Some people have been curious about that, but I'm just offering photos, right? Now, that's one aspect, not of who you are, but it's an aspect of how you portray yourself. Think about, let me think about this, think about this. Your latest, that's a really good example of something. Um, last time you went to a massage place, massage place, or you got your nails done, or I mean, you're the guys on this channel, you don't get your nails done. Um, I go to massages, that's not every guy does. Oh, gym, say gym, massage, uh, acupuncture, chiropractor, doctor. Doctor's not a good example. Um, if you took any like interesting classes, like an art class or like or like workshop or something, there's a place here in Austin which is pretty cool. I help them build their shelves uh, called Ghost Pepper Glass, and they do some cool ghost pepper. Like, not, not ghost pepper. They do some cool glass working things where you can blow your own glass. Uh, I'm not being paid by them. I just think they're cool as fuck, um, and they have an adorably gorgeous dog named Ghost. I haven't seen them in a long time. I should go by and get one of their workshops. Um, but they're cool as fuck. They're really cool people, and they have a really gorgeous, gorgeous white fluffy dog. And um, and uh, yeah, it's freaking awesome. Um, but yeah, any of those things like you know, gym, massage, blah blah blah. You probably went there because something about them looked cool, right? Maybe it was a flyer that they put out, or maybe it was their website, or maybe people talked about it and had a good reputation. And you're like, oh well, my friend recommended this to me. Or maybe it just seemed, they seemed like the way that they put their packages together was like super simple and didn't make you think so hard. Like that's actually why I stuck with the dentist I stuck with that I'm working with right now on my fucked up teeth because they make it simple. I don't have to think about it, right? And it's really great design. The place is put together well to make me feel comfortable with the design and like the aesthetics of it. That's what attracted me in the door, right? When it comes to your dating life, your dating profile, if you're doing online dating, which if you're watching this channel, you are, if you're doing online dating, your profile gets them in the door, you get them to stay, right? I can help you with the you after the fact, and at some point I might offer dating coaching. Um, not something I'm really thinking about right now, I'm just leaving the possibility open, I'm not planning for it, uh, it's, I have no plans to do that at the moment, but my job as your photographer is to make the welcome mat look fucking awesome. 
and that is by showing the qualities that you have once they walk in the door, go on a date with you, and potentially see you longer term, have sex with you, go on trips with you, meet your friends, have a fun life with you, maybe even move in together. I don't know what you're looking for. Um, short term, long term, anywhere in between. What is there for them to look forward to? That is what your profile is for. That is what the photos on your profile, Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, whatever, the, pro the, the photos on your profile are all there to be like, what's in it for me down the line? What is the potential? What is your potential value to them, right? It's an advertisement. It's a movie trailer. And that is a piece of content. If you look at it that way, the purpose is be genuine, show other people, show potential mates, hey, this is what's waiting for you. I'm going to put this visual representation of what's waiting for you, for you, if you date me. Now that is a piece of content and that is a piece of content that can be improved. That is a piece of content that can be improved by making it more genuine, making it fit you more. Also making it screen in the right girls and out the wrong girls. Like if you're looking for something very specific, make the photos reflect that so you screen in the right girls and screen out the wrong girls and that way you're going on dates with the right matches. That's why I say more and better matches. That's the better matches part. I can help tailor your photos so that you are attracting the right matches and not the wrong ones, right? And then I can also, um, so, so I've completely lost my train of thought because that was a really good idea and I was self-congratulating myself in my head for that. Um, but basically, what's, what's the difference between hiring somebody to make your welcome mat look fucking pristine and make your movie trailer of what it would be like to be with you for a short, long time or anywhere in between? What would that be like? And hiring somebody to do that, how is that any different than hiring a tutor to improve your skills as a student or hiring a life coach to make sure that your sleep's on point so you're amazing at the next soccer tournament. What is the difference? And that is the thing that I don't get. There's this difference. People put dating in this camp where this is who you are and whatever you get is what you get. And then other skills, dating is a skill. Dating is just showing somebody into your life and the art of getting closer to somebody so that you see how you enjoy each other. It's, a, it's the art of like exploring other people, selling yourself and exploring other people. And the selling yourself part is how you get those people in the door. And then once you're on dates, um, I can give you advice. Well, probably on our photo shoot, I'll probably answer your questions for free because I'm not really doing dating coaching. I don't get paid for that. Um, but at some point, maybe I will do it. But right now I'm just focusing on how do you get more, how do you get the right girls in the door and more of them so that you have a more fulfilling dating and sex life. And I do that by giving y'all amazing photos. If you're interested in my photos, please go ahead. I have a link tree in the description below and um, just click on, I think it says book your photo shoot. It'll link to my Instagram and then just message me there. It's, just, it's pretty straightforward. Just click on the link tree. It'll walk you through it. Um, message me, say, hey, I'd like to get uh, a photo shoot and I'll, I'll help you figure out exactly what that means for you, what it looks like, how many photos it would be, how long it would be. I'll answer all those questions with you over message. Um, even if you're not following me or I'm not following you, it will go into my message request folder. But again, I am super quick at responding to that. Uh, a guy reached out to me uh, yesterday, I think it was, and he was like, yeah, I'm gonna be in Austin this weekend. Do you wanna do a photo shoot? Can you do that for me? Are you free? And I said, and I, that went to my message request folder and I responded to him like that. He was really surprised because it was in my message request folder. So don't worry if it's in my message request folder. I will get back to you super quickly. I'll take care of you. We will make it happen. Um, if you have any other questions about uh, what I do or concerns or whatever, like I like making these videos, helping people, walking people through these potential concerns that they have. Um, because I, it's, just, it's just nice to be able to talk. I mean, otherwise, I'd be talking this through with each and every one of you, which I'm not opposed to doing. It just, you know, <laughs> takes a lot of time. Um, and I'd rather spend my time getting you some bomb-ass photos. And so if you watch these videos to be comfortable with the process, then I can spend all my time getting you bomb-ass photos. <laughs> and I'd rather do that. 
Um, subscribe if you like. Book a photo shoot if you like. Um, and um, yeah, cheers. Bye.